Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on combinations. Okay, in the previous video we are already discussed about four example problems on combinations and ten example problems on permutations. Now in this video we have to solve another example problem on combination okay now a question paper contains three parts a b c with four questions in part a five questions in part b and six questions in part c it is required to answer seven questions by selecting at least two questions from each part in how many different ways can a student selecting his seven questions for answering? Okay, the given data in the given problem is a certain question paper contains three parts that is a part A and part B and part C. Part A contains four questions, part B contains five questions and part C contains six questions okay a student can answer seven questions by selecting at least two questions from each part for answering okay so to solve that problem there are different ways are there okay so different ways are there different ways are there to select to select seven questions to select seven questions for answering for answering okay so, for example, uh, case 1, case 1, okay. So, two questions from part A, two questions from part B and three questions from part C. Okay. Now, case 2, I am taking two questions from part A, three questions from part B and two questions from part C. Okay. Next, another case, case three. Okay. So, three questions from part A, two questions from part B and two questions from part C. Okay. We can observe case one. So, here two questions, two questions, three questions, two plus two plus three, that is four, seven questions. Case two, two questions, three questions, two questions, two plus three plus two, that is seven questions. In case three, three questions, two questions, two questions, three questions, three plus two plus two, that is seven questions. Okay, a student can answer seven questions in case one, in case two, in case three. Next, another condition is at least two questions from part A, part A, part B, part C. From part A, two questions can be taken, no problem. From part B, two questions can be taken, no problem. From part C, three questions can be taken, at least two means. So, he can take two questions, he can take three questions, he can take four questions, he can take uh, five questions or he can take six questions from the C. Okay. So, 3 is greater than uh, 2. Okay. So, condition is satisfied in case 1. In case 2, 2 questions from part A. So, 3 questions from part B. Part B contains 5 questions. So, at least 2 means greater than or equal to 2. 3 questions is nothing but 3 is greater than 2. Condition is satisfied. Okay. So, 2 questions from part C. So, at least 2 means 2 is also considered. So, case 2 is also satisfied. Now, case 3. 
part a contains four questions at least two mains so greater than or equal to two so i am taking three questions from part a three is greater than or equal to two so three questions from part a two questions from part b two questions from part c so here it is satisfied the condition here also satisfied the condition so three cases we are consider a student can answer seven questions by taking two questions from each part so there are three different ways are there this is the case one case two case three okay so now we go for uh, case one now we go for case one okay so a student a student can select a student can select okay two questions from part a so two questions two questions from from part a two questions from part a so in how many ways part a contains four questions from four questions i am taking two questions so that is the c of four comma two ways okay next next one a student can take a student can select can select so two questions from part b two questions from part b in part b contains how many number of questions five questions from the five questions i am selecting two questions so c of five comma two ways okay next one a student can select a student can select three questions three questions from part c from part c in part c contains how many number of questions six questions from six questions he can take three questions six c three ways okay so therefore total number of ways total number of ways total number of ways is equal to so c of four comma two multiplied with c of Five comma two multiplied with c of six comma three ways. Okay, so four c two is nothing but six. We already know that five c two it is nothing but ten. Six c three. So six c three means six factorial divided by so three factorial into three factorial. So that is equal to six into five into four into three factorial divided by three factorial into three into two. Three factorial three factorial cancel. Three into two six cancel. That is a twenty. Okay. So this is a twenty. So that is a twenty into ten two hundred two hundred into six. That is twelve hundred base. So for case one, how many number of ways are there? So twelve hundred ways are there. In this way, we have to write for case two, and we have to write for case three. So I am writing directly because of space available. Space is not available much so much. So case two. Okay, two questions from part A. Okay, two questions from part A. Part A contains four questions. A student can select two questions from part A. Part A contains four questions. So how many number of ways? Four C two. So C of four comma two into next one. A student can select three 
two co three questions from part B. Part B contains how many number of questions? Five questions. From the five questions, I am selecting three questions. So C of five comma three is multiplied with. A student can select two questions from part C. So part C contains six questions. So from the six questions, we are selecting two questions. So C of six comma two. Okay. So C of C of four comma two is nothing but six. So five C three is nothing but ten, and six C two. So six C two means six factorial by two factorial into four factorial. So that is equal to six into five into four factorial divided by two into four factorial. Four factorial, four factorial cancel. So that is a fifteen. Okay. How many number of faces are there? 15 into 10, that is 150. 150 into 6, that is 900. Yes, are there? Okay. From case 2, okay. How many number of faces are there? That is 900 faces are there. Now we go for case 3. Case 3. Okay. So in the case 3, a student can select three questions from part A. So among the four questions, how many number of faces? Among the four questions, a student can select three questions from part A. So that is a C of four comma three multiplied with. Next, a student can select two questions from part B. Okay, part B contains five questions. From the five questions, I am selecting two questions. So C of five comma two. Okay, next one. From part C, a student can select two questions from the six questions. Okay, from the six questions, a student can select two questions from for answering. So that is C of six comma two. Okay, so four C three is nothing but four C two six. So that is a four. We have already know that five C two. So five C two is nothing but uh, that is a ten. Okay. So five factorial divided by two factorial into three factorial. So that is five factorial into four into three factorial divided by two into three factorial. Three factorial divided two two. That is ten. Okay. Now, so this is fifteen. Into six C two, six C two is nothing but fifteen. Okay, so fifteen into ten, one fifty, one fifty into four, that is equal to six hundred base. Okay, so for case one, how many number of faces? Twelve hundred base. For case two, how many number of faces? Nine hundred base. For case three, how many number of faces? Six hundred base. So therefore, total number of faces. Total number of ways a student a student selecting a student selecting his seven persons seven persons for answering by taking. Two questions from each part is equal to so twelve hundred plus nine hundred plus six hundred. So twelve plus nine twenty one twenty one plus six. So that is two thousand seven hundred ways are there. A student can answer seven questions by taking two questions from each part. Okay. So in this way, we have to solve the given problem by using. So this is a case one, and this is a case two, and a, this is a case three. Okay. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So Divya Sridhar Rao.
Thank you. In the next video, we are solving some more example problems on combinations. Okay.